Are you trying to visit your site and seeing a notice like this or this or this? Or is your website being redirected to this URL? This situation is fixable, but we need to act fast. Basically, to get your web host to unsuspend your account, you have to address the issue that caused the suspension. Then you email them with the request to review the suspension reasons. Now, your website is offline and you may or may not have access to your WP admin to fix the issue. And the only channel available to you is your web host support. If you haven't already done so, email the web host support to find out why they have suspended your account. How to deal with a hacked site causing site suspension. Option number one, clean your website with a security plugin. First of all, there are only two security plugins whose cleanups we have found to be reliable and effective. These are WordFence and Malcare. The challenge with WordFence is that it's quite expensive and takes hours. We recommend Malcare because it is cost effective and takes only a few minutes. The trouble with a suspended site is that you cannot access your dashboard to install a security plugin. So here are the steps you need to follow to use Malcare. Number one, contact Malcare customer support for a list of IPs to whitelist for cleaning. Number two, email your web host to whitelist your IPs and the Malcare IPs. Number three, install the plugin and make sure the site syncs from the dashboard. Number four, the plugin will scan your website and find all the malware. Number five, click auto clean to remove the malware. Each Malcare cleanup subscription, you get unlimited cleanups and 24 seven access to Malcare's security engineers. Number six, request your web host to rerun their scan and share the results. Option number two, manually clean your website. In 99% cases, you'll be at your wit's end because of the complexities of manual malware removal, reinfection, and broken websites. By that point, not only will the malware have gotten worse, but the site will also be in shambles. If you're adamant on the manual cleanup, check the link in description. I'll add a detailed article to walk you through it step by step. How to deal with a website overusing server resources. Your website likely exists on your web host server with hundreds, if not thousands of other websites. Resources like processing power, memory, and storage are shared by all the websites that exist on that server. To make sure that all the websites hosted on a shared hosting plan get a fair amount of server resources, web hosts set a cap on these resources for each account. Usually, a web host will alert you if you are reaching or exceeding the resource limit before suspending your account. So, if you have received emails about reaching the resource limits, it is a good time to start analyzing your hosting usage. How to deal with payment issues and policy violations. Web hosts have your credit card information on file and will charge it automatically at the time of renewal. These transactions can fail for multiple reasons like insufficient funds, expired cards or fraud prevention. The fix is simple enough. Just make your payment and the site will be up and running in no time. Other policy violations. Most of the policy violations we have seen stem from the content on your website. The suspension is caused under circumstances such as copyright violations, spam generation, unsolicited emails, unauthorized admin use, and storing illegal material on the server. And that's it. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you liked it, please do hit that subscribe button because that really motivates us and it's free.